Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mr. Dancy Pants, and today we are bringing you another tutorial video, this time on the Sunrise Knot. Before we get started, I want you to go down and hit the subscription button. Click the notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload a new video and will let me know that this is the kind of content that you enjoy. Now for this knot, you are going to need a ring about one inch in diameter. You can get these at the craft section of Walmart or at any local crafting store. So let's go ahead and undo the vest, take down the knot, and we'll begin. I mean the kind of music men hum or whistle when they feel on top of the world. So we're going to start this knot with our blade on the right side, our tail on the left. What we're going to do is we're going to fold our blade in and then back against itself. And then we're going to bring it to our center here so that it goes right along the button line. Now we're going to take the tail of the tie. We're going to bring it over the top, behind the back, and across the front one more time. So it does one full loop around the blade of the tie. Now we're going to tuck it behind the back, bring it up and through the center of the collar just like that. Now we're going to take our ring and we're going to thread the tail of the tie through the ring. Bring that all the way up just like that. Now we're going to bring we're going to hold it tight here and bring the tail around the back from left to right and then we're going to thread the tail through the ring one more time and bring that down. Now we're going to need to sort of massage the tail a little bit just to make sure that everything is sitting flat and is staying tight. This will secure the ring in place throughout the rest of the knot. Now we are going to fold the tail of the tie in half. All right, so we've got it folded in half and we're going to bring it across the front here, just like this. And we're going to tuck it up and through the collar so it comes up on the right hand side. Now we're going to let it unfold. We only need it folded as it goes across. Now this, this unfolded part we're going to thread from back to front through the ring one more time. And we're going to massage where it unfolds so that it's behind the knot rather than through the ring. So we want to make sure that we get this right there. And then we're going to bring it behind the back. And around from right to left, then up and through the ring one more time time. So you can see how it sets in there and it frames the cross section as well as the first set of loops that we made. Now we should be running a bit low on tail so instead of tucking it into the shirt as we typically do we're going to bring this up and tuck it into the collar. Now by tucking it in on the left side of the collar like that when we tighten it the tightening is going to come from the right hand side. So we're going to grab the waist of the tie knot and we're going to put our fingers on either side just like that and we're going to kind of wiggle it up so that it's where we want it. Readjust the tail that we tucked in. Now we're going to bring our collar down.
and moves the tie into position. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, the Sunrise Knot. Uh, this is an excellent knot for any kind of occasion. I highly recommend a solid colored tie or something that has a very fine pattern on it rather than something large and kind of like paisley or stripes of any kind. If you like what you see here, leave a thumbs up down below, and if you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section, and I'll be more than happy to answer them. So for now, take care. I mean the kind of music men hum or whistle when they feel on top of the world. And gentlemen, one of the many things that give you that zip-top feeling is the pleasure of being well-dressed.